topic for today is mechanical engineer interview questions with answers. But first, we're going to discuss the interview tips that will help you get hired. Make a job interview feel less much stressful with preparations. The more time you take in advance to get ready, the more comfortable you feel during the actual interview. Interview tips number one. Practice and repeat. What's my video? Number two. Get ready ahead of time. Try to be calm and control your emotion and drink water first before you start. You need to research the company and look at their website. Be on time means early, at least 30 minutes before the interview. Keep your answer concise and focused. Do not speak negatively about your previous employers. Bring a copy of your resume, a notebook, and pen. Be prepared with a list of examples of your previous job. Follow up after the interview. Question number one. Tell me something about yourself. Sample answer. I'm Michael, a mechanical engineer, dynamic and self-driven professional with extensive experience in control system. My passion centered in machine learning and robotics, and I am skilled at developing and testing various mechanical equipment and tools, creating detailed 3D models and drawings, and managing the whole development process of multiple product lines. I want to discover more about amazing world of self-driving cars. My goal is to grow as a person and as a professional every day. Why do we hire you? Sample answer. Because I am a hardworking person and I believe that I'm the most qualified African for the job. I have solid command of technologies, tools and best practices in designing mechanical equipment using AutoCAD, SOLIDWORKS, Java, and MATLAB, and engineering drawing. I work as a manufacturing engineer to resolve any designing issues, impacting production, and to improve product design, develop procurement documents and a specification, and assess product line when the lines start running. Can you tell me something about your previous job or something about your experience? Sample answer. I have spent five years as a mechanical engineer at XYJ company, for example, and I develop extensive skills in robotics programming like ABB and FANOC robots. Knowledgeable of the operations of mill, plasma cutter, lathes, jig boards, and CNC machines. I resolve complex technical issues in primary area of competence and deal with several at the same time. Why are you interested in this job? Sample answer. I am interested in this job because I am looking for an opportunity that let me exercise my skill. I feel this position will allow me to succeed because my experience is related to the job. Why are you leaving your current or previous job? Sample answer number one. My current job has been a great experience, but the growth is limited because the company is relatively small. I need to look somewhere like this company where there is opportunity to grow my career. Sample answer number two. I'm ready for the next challenge in my career. I love the people I work with and the projects that I work on, but at some point I'm looking for a company where opportunity to grow my career. Have you ever had conflict with your superior or colleagues and how do you handle it? Sample answer. I think everyone at some point had a conflict with their superior or colleagues. I'll just try to work with them whenever possible and stay away with conflict as much as I could. What is your strength and weakness? Sample answer for what is your strength. I am a hardworking and responsible person and do my duties on time. Sample answer for what is your weakness. I do not stop working until the job is done. I should know my limitation. 
Do you have any question for us? Sample answer. Always say yes if these questions will be asked. Sample answers. What are the most immediate projects that need to be addressed? What is the law of thermodynamics? Answer. The law of thermodynamics describes the relationship between thermal energy or heat and other forms of energy and how energy affects matter. The first law of thermodynamics states that energy cannot be created or destroyed. The total quantity of energy in the universe stays the same. The second law of thermodynamics is about quality of energy. It states that as energy is transferred or transformed, more and more of it is wasted. Describe a situation where you were on the job and failed to accomplish a task or a goal. Answer. I was managing a project for one of our biggest clients in my previous company, and I was so eager to please them that I told them that we could finish this within one week. I thought this was doable, but it ended up two weeks, and they were not happy. Looking back, I realized I should have been more conservative in my estimate to the clients. What is turboprop engine? Answer. A turboprop engine is a turbine engine that drives an aircraft propeller. A turboprop consists of an intake, compressor, combustor, turbine, and a propelling nozzle. Air is drawn into the intake and compressed by the compressor. How do hydraulic work? Answer. Hydraulic system used a pump to push hydraulic fluid through the system to create fluid power. The fluid passes through the valve and flows to the cylinder, where the hydraulic energy converts back into mechanical energy. The valves helps to direct the flow of liquid and relieve pressure when needed. What is pneumatics? Pneumatics is a branch of engineering that makes use of gas or pressurized air, and it is used in industry, are commonly powered by compressed air. System-based pneumatics are found in factories that deal with compressed air and inert gases. Energy produced by pneumatic systems can be more flexible, less costly, more reliable, and less dangerous than some actuators and electric motors. What was your first design? Answer. My first design was plastic injection molding. Explain the auto cycle and free. Answer. The auto cycle is a set of processes used by spark ignition, internal combustion engines, two-stroke or four-stroke cycle. What are different types of fit? Answer. The three types of fit are clearance. The hole is larger than the shaft, enabling the two parts to slide and or rotate when assembled. Location or transition. The hole is fractionally smaller than the shaft and mild force is required to assemble or disassemble. Interference, the hole is smaller than the shaft and high force or heat is required to assemble or disassemble. What engineering software do you use in your work? Answer, this will depend upon company requirements. You need to check job description. Software is required for design engineer position only. Some popular software are SolidWorks, PTC Creo, and Keisha, etc. Explain the difference between crankshaft and camshaft. Answer. Crankshaft is a shaft which gives an output from the engine. It is used to drive the piston from bottom dead center to top dead center, up and down to create combustion in the engine chamber. While the camshaft is designed to synchronize the rotations of crankshaft to provide power. Car manufacturers design engines with two different configurations, single overhead camshaft or dual overhead camshaft. Most, if not all, vehicles today use either. What do you mean by CC when mentioning efficiency? Answer. The term CC represents the unit cubic centimeter or volume, and in case of engine, it is used to represent the volume of internal combustion engine cylinder. The cc can also be represented in liters as shown below. 1000 cc equals 1000 cubic centimeter equals 1 liter. What causes the engine to overheat? 
answer. It could be inoperative cooling fan, thermostat diaphragm stop, antifreeze need to change, restricted airflow, bad fan clats, a sleeping fan belt, radiator hose damage, filter need to change for restricted airflow, and the coolant is leaking. How petrol engine differ from diesel engine? Answer. The main difference between diesel engine and petrol engines is that petrol engines use spark plugs to ignite the air fuel mixture, while diesel engines rely on compressed air. Rodolf Diesel, a mechanical engineer who invented the diesel engine, found that temperature of air could be made to increase high enough if it was heavily compressed. The temperature would rise so high to the point where it could cause the ignition. Additional interview questions for your reference. What do you understand by heat treatment? Define the term latent heat. What is mean by Greenfield project? What is ferrite? Explain enthalpy. What is universal coupling? What is the difference between centripetal and centrifugal force? Tell me the basic definition of welding. What is humidity? What is the humidification? What is Newton's law of viscosity? Why should we use reduction gear? 